Okay, <clears throat> so for the circuit below, use the phase one concept to find the voltage V0. And the V0 is the voltage across the inductor. Okay, the first thing that I will see, uh, we check in the circuit, we look at the sources. And here, as we see there, the sources have different frequencies. Okay, so if the sources have different frequencies, we definitely need to do the superposition. If they had the same frequency, we could do many methods, different analysis, but because they have different frequencies, definitely we need to do the superposition. Okay, so therefore, uh, Different. Um, different. Therefore, we have to do super position. Okay. But uh, before that, let me also find the convert the sources to the phasor version. So if V S is that V S is six, it's a cosine third, and then the angle is negative six. And I S is fifteen at the angle of forty-five degree. But at the same time, meanwhile, I will remember that for this source omega is fifty radian per second. And for the other source, the frequency is 200. And also this one, I have to put the milliamp. So the unit is milliamp. So make sure that we put the milliamp. And this one is voltage. OK, very good. So these are our sources and the different frequencies. So for the superposition, so as we know, we have to go a step by a step. So a step one, I will keep one source at a time. Let's keep IS, keep IS, and zero. All other sources, which in this case only is minus. So I will draw the corresponding circuit in the phase of domain. So I have my IS as uh, IS is this one, 15 milli with the angle of 45 degree. I have the 10 ohm. I have the 15 ohm. Then I have to zero the voltage source. And then the capacitor and inductor. I have to find need to find the impedances. So for Z of C minus J divided by the omega. So what was the omega for IS? For IS, the omega was 200. So negative J divided by omega times the C, which is one millipara. So that gives me. So minus J, 1,200, negative 5 J. Oh, that's the impedance for the capacitor, negative 5 J. And then also ZL is J omega. Again, the omega was 200 times 0.1 Henry, which gives me 1 J. So in order to not forget, maybe when you write IS here, you can again put the omega is 200 radians. You need this omega to find the impedances. As you see, the omega appears in this formula. Okay, very good. So um, with the, let me write this in a new color. So the Z of C is negative 5J. Oh. And the inductor is 20 J O. And remember that we needed to find this voltage V0. And <clears throat> because we are going to solve different circuits, I will just put V0 prime. OK, so let's solve this. Um, 
Okay, so by looking at the circuit, um, okay, there's a current source here. The current is coming. I have this current, and then it's going to be divided between these two branches. So one way to do that, we can do the current division, basically find this current. And then after I have this current, I have the impedance for the inductor, I can find the V. So that's one way. Um, the other way is to find the equivalent of this. These two are series, and then they're in parallel. And we can basically find that voltage, but then you have to also do another voltage division. Um, so there are you no know, different methods, but let me, let's go with the current division. So I will go with the current. Um, so let's call this, I don't know, IC. I zero equal to this resistor divided by the fifteen O plus the impedance here, which is minus I J plus twenty J. 15 divided by 15 plus the impedance times the current which is coming here, which is exactly the same as IS. So, uh, so the resistor basically doesn't matter because we are looking at the current. So it doesn't matter if we had this resistor or not. Still, the, the current will be the same as IS. So that times IS, which is 15 milli with the angle of 45. Okay, very good. Let's do simplification. This is 15J, and then we have 15, 15, 15, so somehow simplify. So one divided by one plus J times 15 milli the angle of 45. And um, one plus J, hopefully everybody recognizes that quickly, very, very quickly. It is a square root two with the angle of 45. That's something that definitely I expect me to easily recognize it. And then we have 15 milli. Again, I'm going to reach 45 degree. Okay, now here we have 15 milli divided by square root 2. How about the angle? Numerator has angle of 45 degree. Denominator also has the same angle. So just because they're dividing, so the angle will be subtracted. So basically, the angle will be zero. And this is M. This is the current which is going to the inductor. But then we are interested in the V0, which is the voltage. So voltage V0 prime, I call it, is 20J times the current, which is this 50 milli square root 2, the angle of 0. So 20J, another thing that you need to recognize this, uh, the phase of that is 90 degree. So that I can write as 20 with the phase of 90 degree times. 15 x with the phase of zero. So that is uh, in the top 20 times 15, 300, but there's a milli, so it becomes 0.3 divided by square root two with the angle of nine. Oh, right. This is volt. So this is a phasor domain, definitely. At this one, convert it to the time domain because eventually we are looking for the V0 at the time. So V0 T, V0 prime T is the magnitude times cosine of the frequency. So in this case, the frequency was 200. Radio per second, 200 T plus 9. Right? 
Okay, so this is the voltage if we only had the IS. Now we have to repeat a very similar process um, by keeping now the VS and zero in IS and find V0 and then we add them. Now, step two. I will keep V of S and I will zero IS. So the figure or the circuit will be, we have the VS, we have the 15K. And because I zero IS, so that that part of the circuit will be open, but then I have the capacitor and the capacitor and the inductor. Um, v of S, the phasor, we are in the phasor domain. V of S is six with the angle of negative 60 degree. Six with the angle of negative 60 degree. And again, I remember that omega is 50. Right, per second. From the formula of V of S. And then also I need to calculate ZL and ZC again. Because the frequency change, so the impedance has changed. Changes. So ZC plus minus J divided by omega, which is 50, times the C, which was 1 millifold, which becomes two, negative 20 J volt. And ZL is J omega, and then L was 0.1. which gives me five. So here, the impedance here is negative 20 J. This one is And I want get this voltage, which now I call it V zero double point. Okay. So in this case, it's just a voltage division. So V zero double prime is just five J divided by the whole impedance, which is fifteen. Uh, is this fifteen K? Which is fifteen. So five J divided by 15 plus the whole thing like 5j negative 20j times the voltage is a voltage source, so 6 with the angle of negative 60 degree. Okay. Minus 15j. Um, 5j divided by. 15 factor 1 minus j. Six with the angle of negative 60. Okay. And then 3 and 6, 2. So the magnitude wise, you have 2. But then you have here j. If the angle is 90 degree, again, the expectation that you just look at this and you just replace it with the 90 degree. Also, you see 1 minus j, you recognize it. And we replace it by square root two of angle negative one. Without the use of calculator or anything, quickly you can write. Okay, and then we have an angle of negative 60 degrees also from 
there. So two over square root two being a square root two. And then the angles. I have a 90 degree, okay, 90 degree. I have a negative 60 degree. And then we, this is in the denominator, so it becomes minus negative 45, minus negative. Okay, which is, this part is 30 minus minus 45, 30 plus 45, seven. So the square root two with the angle of 75 degree, won't convert it again, V double five, V zero double five, T is the part of square root two, times cosine of, the frequency 52 plus 75 degrees. Okay. Now the last step is just to add V prime and V double prime. That's the basis of superposition. We separate the sources, you find the, the interested value, uh, and then at the end, yeah. So, the end, V0 T, which we are looking for, is V0 prime T plus V0 So this one, Plus this. 